Now in this question, uh, we have to identify the suturing technique. So there are two figures shown here. So if you see here, you will be able to appreciate some nodes, right? And you can also find that the nodes are in the interdental areas, right? And here also you can find some node, right? Now if we see the illustration that will be giving you a better idea actually. So here you can see this is a flare. This is the outline of a flare and you can see the suture material the thread is going in this way and then you will be appreciating the shadow of the suture material here as well that means the suture material is going around the tooth here the molar here right and second thing which we can appreciate here the note is on the distal aspect of the tooth okay so you will be understanding this after I explain the uh, whole technique in detail. So I will just try to illustrate this particular technique. So here are the teeth, okay, and suppose this is the occlusal view of the teeth and this is the buccal view of the teeth and uh, here these are the flaps, okay. Now this particular technique, the single suture sling technique, I will be just discussing right now, single sling suture technique this is the technique which has been discussed in the figure so in this technique what generally happens this technique is generally used for securing flaps and if you want the flaps to be on the coronal direction so basically this gives tension in the coronal direction so that the flap can be secured in the coronal direction or if you want to coronally displace some flap you can use this particular technique now I'll just uh, show you, uh, if you just uh, see here on the buccal view, here this is the mesial direction and this is the distal side of course. So here on the mesial side, this is your first entry point. Okay, so you will be inserting your needle in the first entry point and that would be going below the contact area, moving around the tooth, taking a turn around the tooth and below the contact area we have to take it out on the distal aspect of the tooth and this will be your second entry point. So from the buccal aspect only, you will be giving the second entry point. So this is the buccal aspect, this is the lingual aspect if we see occlusally and if you see this is the whole buccal view only. Okay, so from here you will be putting it again inside the second entry point and when you put it, then again you have to follow the same path but in the reverse direction. So you will be following the same loop and you will be reversing the direction then again below the contact area without affecting, without inserting into the papilla and then you will be taking it out and here you will be giving a surgeon's no. Okay. So basically in this particular technique, we just move the uh, suture material around the tooth. So how it will be helping us? Basically, it will allow us to give more tension because tooth is strong and we are getting the uh, support from the tooth here right so more tension can be bear and that's why if more tension can be bear and it is given in such a way that the total vector of the tension will be in coronal direction so you can always expect that the tooth the flap which we are putting here that will be moved in the coronal direction with a good amount of tension that will be through the anchorage from the tooth so basically this is your uh, single sling suture uh, so the answer to this particular question is of course the single sling suture. Now if you want to discuss about the other options, the vertical matrix, horizontal matrix and figure of it suture. So it will be a very detailed video if we just give the whole technique through all these techniques. But I will be giving you a simple trick to understand or to identify the kind of suture it is. Okay. So here if you see this is the incision. Okay. When you see the incision and the orientation of the sutures which is seen here is perpendicular is perpendicular to the incision then we can always conclude that these are the vertical matrix sutures vertical matrix sutures now if the orientation of the threads of the sutures is parallel to the direction of the incision then we can always conclude that these are the horizontal matrix sutures now if you see this figure, this is a fig, uh, this particular one is the figure of 8 suture 
here you can always see one extracted socket generally uh, it is given in the extracted socket after the extraction of the tooth there will be extraction socket of course and for closing that we will be giving the uh, figure of eight sutures so this is uh, an trick to identify the different kind of sutures which we can see here now uh, uh, if we just go through the explanation given so the single sling suture in this the uh, surgical needle is passed through the attached gingiva of the flap okay now after we put it into the flap then there will be no anchorage from the soft tissue but the basic anchorage is taken from the tooth around the tooth okay so this is uh, given in the bottom of your uh, uh, this video so you can go through the explanation uh, in details now that suture technique is particularly effective why we are using this particular suture technique in achieving the maximum incisal or occlusal level when repositioning the flap so if you want to reposition the flap in the occlusal direction or coronal direction then you will be using this particular flap because the lingual anchor is the lingual surface of the tooth and not the fragile lingual tissue so higher tension can be placed on the flap uh, tissue to adjust the height of the flap margin and that is the core of this whole discussion so coming back to the uh, answer here the whole suturing technique is basically the single sling suture technique